So Elon Musk and Donald Trump went live and had a live conversation on X last night from 7.47 p.m. until 10.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Apparently, according to Elon Musk, he said that the combined views of the conversation with Donald Trump and subsequent discussion by other accounts is now approximately one billion. He said that during the period of time where they were having their space where they talked, it received 73 million views. During the same period, there were 4 million posts about Elon Musk and President Trump's conversation on X, generating a total of 998 million views. Also, shout out to Matt Kim for getting in on the conversation because he's a good dude. I like Matt. In the middle of the conversation, apparently Elon had posted that there was a massive DDoS attack, which stands for Distributed Denial of Service Attack, which is basically when they flood, they flood like the space with so many requests consuming its capacity to render and making it unable to respond to legitimate requests, it's basically just overloading the, the platform. And apparently that was happening while they were in the middle of having their conversation, which could be a couple of things. It could be that that many people were just interested in, in watching and viewing, or it could have been that that many people were genuinely trying to bring it down. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'll let you guys decide on what you think that the cause of that was. Despite all this, before they ever even started posting their live or before they went live to have their conversation on X, uh, Elon received a letter from the European Commission, from a member of the European Commission named Derry Breton from Brussels on 12 August 2024. Dear Mr. Musk, I'm writing you in the context of recent events in the United Kingdom and in relation to the planned broadcast on your platform X of a live conversation between a U.S. presidential candidate and yourself, which will also be accessible to users in the EU. I understand that you are currently doing a stress test of the platform. In this context, I am compelled to remind you of the due diligence obligations set out in the Digital Services Act, DSA, as outlined in my previous letter. As the individual entity ultimately controlling a platform with over 300 million users worldwide, of which one-third in the EU that has been designated as a very large online platform, you have a, the legal obligation to ensure X's compliance with EU law and in particular the DSA in the EU. This notably means ensuring, on one hand, that freedom of expression and of information, including media freedom and pluralism, are effectively protected, and, on the other hand, that all proportionate and effective mitigation measures are put in place regarding the amplification of harmful content in connection with relevant events, including live streaming, which, if unaddressed, might increase the risk profile of X and generate detrimental effects on civic discourse and public security. This is important against the background of recent examples of public unrest brought, by, brought about by the amplification of content that promotes hatred, disorder, incitement to violence, or certain instances of disinformation. It also applies, one, or I, informing EU judicial and administrative authorities without undue delay on the measures taken to address their orders against con content considered illegal according to national and or EU law to taking timely, diligent, non-arbitrary, and objective action upon receipt of notices by users considering certain content illegal. Three, informing users concerning the measures taken upon receipt of the relevant notice. And four, publicly reporting about content moderation measures. In this respect, I note that the DSA obligations apply without exceptions or discrimination to the moderation of the whole user community and content of X, including yourself as a user with over 190 million followers, which is accessible to EU users and should be fulfilled in line with the risk-based approach of the DSA, which requires greater due diligence in case of a foreseeable increase of the risk profile. As you know, formal proceedings are already ongoing against X under the DSA, notably in areas linked to the dissemination of illegal content and the effectiveness of the measures taken to combat disinformation. As the relevant e content is accessible to EU users and being amplified also in our jurisdiction, we cannot exclude potential spillovers in the EU. Therefore, we are monitoring the potential risks in the EU associated with the dissemination of content that may incite violence, hate, and racism in conjunction with major political or societal events around the world, including debates and interviews in the context of elections. Let me clarify that any negative effect of illegal content on X in the EU would 
which could be attributed to the ineffectiveness of the way in which X applies the relevant provisions of the DSA may be relevant in the context of the ongoing proceedings and of the overall assessment of X's compliance with EU law. This is in line with what has already been done in the recent past. For example, in relation to the repercussions and amplification of terrorist content or content that incites violence, hate, or ra and racism in the EU, such as in the context of the recent riots in the United Kingdom. I therefore urge you to promptly ensure the effectiveness of your system and the report measures taken to my team. My services and I will be extremely vigilant to any evidence that points to breaches of the DSA and will not hesitate to make full use of our toolbox, including by adopting interim measures should it be warranted to protect EU citizens from serious harm. Yours, Siri, or yours sincerely, Derry Breton. So pretty wild it's a pretty wild thing to say or send out um obviously elon musk is one of those guys who's who's claiming to be a you know free speech absolutist uh much like joe rogan and that means everything yes do i understand that like there's a lot of disinformation and misinformation yes and i'm telling you right now it's not one-sided it's all sides all sides Whatever side you think you're on or you perceive yourself as being on or whatever, like people are trying to push information that is false or not true or, you know, pushing information that's uh, maybe not accurate or maybe subtly altered to try to push a certain narrative. Like it's happening on all sides of the fence, regardless of what political standing you have and uh it's it's just it's one of those things where it's like there's no good answer for it there's no good answer because at the end of the day like it's getting especially in this day and age it's getting it's becoming increasingly difficult to tell what's real and what's not real and you have to verify very thoroughly to make sure that things are what they appear to be because there's so much there's so much stuff going on where people are altering content to push a certain narrative or to make it appear to look a certain way so anyway i uh i think this is a wild letter i didn't watch the uh or i didn't have an opportunity to tune in to the live chat between Elon Musk and um the former president Donald Trump because I was asleep. It's currently three thirty in the morning, so uh, I have to work very early today. So I'm not gonna. That's I was in bed by like you know eight o'clock last night. But anyway, uh, interesting interesting times we live in. So we'll see how this. Uh, we'll see if they follow up after that conversation 